Hi everybody, it's Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company and it's triple play time, our last triple play of the year. Ooh. This is our December triple play. <laughs> I'm here with Misty and Natalie. And we have a wonderful project for you. The block we've chosen this month is the square in a square. And so it's exciting to see what we're gonna do with such a basic block, but that's one of the challenges that we love. And I think we're gonna start with you, Misty. All right, let's do it. All Perfect. Righty. All right, so this is my quilt behind me and I kept it really simple. <laughs> I called it hip to be square. And so I just made these simple square and square blocks that match back up with a 10 inch square. Actually, these are the perfect quilts for December because it's just it's like you quick can and just easy. Sew. Yes. It's true. Not it's a true. lot of thinking. So yeah. to make this, you're going to need one package of 10 inch squares. And I use Love Struck by Lella Boutique for Moda Fabrics. You're also going to need one and a half yards of your background that includes your inner border. Mm -hmm. Then you need one and a quarter yards for your outer border and four and three quarter yards for your backing. So let me show cool, you how to cool. make this. <laughs> it's really cute. Thank you. It's I pretty it simple. So we're gonna start by just grabbing, let me pick one of these pretty prints. This pink will be fun. This is a really beautiful line, and I think we all coordinate very nicely. We really we do. We do. <laughs> We're wow. ready for like a photo shoot yeah. or something. Yeah. You'd think we. Yeah. Somebody call the photography <laughs> team. That's right. <laughs> Get up here. We, we look don't good plan today. this, by no. the way. We just actually show up with what we show up with, and and, and, and sometimes it works out. Sometimes we're all in the same color. <laughs> it, sometimes. Yeah. yeah. It's true. This is perfect. It works. So we are going to start by taking our 10-inch squares, and we are going to cut some inch and a half strips. So I'm going to cut all the way across. And do you stack these ever? You absolutely can. Okay. I'm just making one at a time, so. Sometimes it's easier, you know, like yep. there's enough pieces involved that you go, you cut the I'm going to do this the entire layer cake thing. into one and a half inch strips? Yes, you do. Very cool. Cut all the way across. That's pretty fun. One of the things I like about cutting a layer cake into one and a half inch strips is it has this little bit of leeway. So it's if you happen true. to mess up a little bit, you got right. a little bit, you got a little yeah. bit of wiggle room. And you room. could trim your your little peaks you off You totally both could edges if, if, if that you bothers you. To. Yeah, sure. Yep. And so then it's hard to make them feel exact. <laughs> it's true. So from two of these, I'm just going to keep these together, and I'm going to grab my little bit wider ruler, and we are going to go over four inches. And this should give us a four inch and a six inch piece. Whoops, there we go. And I just kind of stack these up like so. And then I didn't, I did not cut these. The reason that I did these first two is because if you do this wrong, you can end up with two small of pieces left. Oh, I learned okay. the hard way. <laughs> so so yep. I just set these aside in a pile. And then from your background, you're gonna cut a four inch strip and you're gonna sub cut that into four inch squares. And then you're also going to cut um, some one and a half inch strips, or you can cut six inch and sub cut into one and a half. So this is one and a half by six. You'll need two of those for each block, and then one and a half by eight. So this awesome. is all the bits that we need Very cool. for our block. So to start off with, we're gonna take our two four inch rectangles and sew them on opposite sides of our four inch center square. I'm ready for you. All right. Nice. All right, so we'll just lay this on here, line up the edges. Yep. And we're just going to sew down the side and uh, flip it flip around. Flip it around. And sew the other side. Yep. All right. Here we go. We'll press that. And if you want to okay. press that back. Will do. Now, do you press every time when you so do it? So I just kind of finger pressed okay. at my sewing table, or if you have an ironing board right next to you, that makes it handy. Mm -hmm. But or one of those I, rollers. Yes, well, that I would think work. If I was assembling this quilt, and I was I would probably do a lot of like uh, exactly strip piecing, and then I'd get up and press a bunch, and yep. then sit back down, and that would you know, work. Sew some more, and so then our six inches from that those strips that we cut will fit on opposite sides okay, for perfect. our center. So we'll add those. Excellent. Alrighty, so, so kind I'm of gonna log cabin like very, courthouse steps. Very much so. Yep. Exactly. Just bordering it around. Very cool. Yeah, this fabric is dark. It's so pretty. Mm -hmm. It's really beautiful. Perfect. Yeah. 
There you go. So then we'll press that and then we'll do the exact same thing. But on this round, we're going to start with our six inch background rectangles and then we'll add our eight inch to the top and bottom. Okay. I love how things come out so neat mm -hmm. when you've kind of pre-cut everything. Yeah. It's just And so you don't really very... have to worry about this, but I did make sure that they kind of stair-stepped out. Does that oh, make okay. sense? So I added them to the same side, my oh, okay. smaller pieces. Yeah. Oh yeah, I wouldn't have thought about that, but that's probably well, smart. Exactly. <laughs> just to keep everything neat. <clears throat> Will still look beautiful if you don't worry about that. Yeah. Oh, here no it is. Deal. I'm like, wait, where's you the You lost other? it. The white on the white. Yep. All right, and I am going to just finger, finger press, press this back. And then these will be your eight inch rectangles. Yeah. Sorry, Nat. Took your Aww, job. That's all right. You can have the job at the end. <laughs> no worries. There we go. And I just did a little back stitch, and I'm not sure why, but... Sometimes you just feel it. I do the same thing. I'm like, I don't know why I did that. <laughs> oh. Well, oh, I know I did it for, do it from uh, clothing sewing, yeah. and sometimes it's just automatic. Those old habits just kick back in. Right? I reached for it. There we go. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. So if you want to go ahead and give that I a press... I will press. And we can go ahead and trim two of these to eight if you want. Otherwise, I just hung them off and trimmed at the end. Either okay. way is fine. But these two will need to be eight inches. Let's trim them. Let's trim them. Why not? Makes life pretty easy. It does. There we go. So this is your little bit of waste. Not too bad. <laughs> not too bad at all. Not bad, but perfect Yes. for a crumb quilt. Exactly. And so then we'll add those to the side. And then our last two 10 inch strips will fit on the top and bottom. Wow, that's perfect. Thanks. And I love the white in between. It makes it look so clean. Yeah. That's very Gives very it a little clean. bit of negative space still. Yeah. Let's these pretty fabrics kind of sing. All right, I'm gonna let you press, press that back. That, and then we'll okay. add those last two. That's nice. That's this is this it's is really so, a pretty. Line. So pretty, just yeah. very sweet and soft mm -hmm. and yep. feminine. There we go. It. All right, Oops, and sorry. these two right here. are just a hair longer, so do you just trim them? Yeah, sometimes those pink edges are just a little bit bigger, so we can just square it up at the end. It's no big deal. All right, I'll give it a quick give, press, yeah. and then we can we take can a look at a little it. 10 inch square on it, or you could use yeah. your mat to I line didn't it grab up. the 10 inch square, but we can just lay it on here because it should finish up exactly 10 inches yeah. square. Excellent. Which is what we're looking that for. Is wonderful. So, yeah, we've just got a little bit that's hanging over, so we can trim these. Well, and it could be the my seam allowance. Yeah, you never know. But the point is, we want you want it to end up ten, end right? Up ten inches square. So we'll just trim off this tiny little bit here. It is super handy. I love those where you can just set a ruler on it yes. and look to see if it's the right size. It's so nice. There we go. Come over. Just a little just tiny a bit. Tiny bit up here. There, there we go. go. And now Perfect. it is ten inches square. And so you can see how these just sit in the quilt. And I did half like this, and then the other half are just the 10 inch squares from my pack. Big, it's so great pieces. for um, showcasing that beautiful fabric. Exactly. So if you have a line where you're like, I just love this fabric so much, I don't want to cut it up. Exactly. And so you've got those big full squares that just lets that fabric show off a little bit. Yeah, it's so And then pretty. I just did an inch and a half inner border to match the same size that we did here and finished it off with a five inch outer border. And then for my backing, we've got this oh, that's pretty a beautiful pink. print. Oh, that's pretty. And the quilting pattern is just called flowers. 
So excellent. <laughs> it, it has big daisies it's on the tree. It's and fun. Yeah. It'll just. Oh, I love it. It's so it's clean and pretty looking. Thank yeah, you. And I can't remember nice. what size this finished up. 68 by 77. So a nice, nice. good size. Yeah. And perfect, perfect for picnics. and. Exactly. It's as easy as that. Yeah. And remember, it. if you want it bigger, yes. you just add another layer cake. Absolutely. Or yeah. bigger borders. <laughs> All right. So who's next? Whoever wants to go next is fine by me. It's you and All I. Right. <laughs> we'll let you know. So Natalie, okay. it looks like you're up. That's right, it's I my turn. Love this. I just love this so, so much. So this is this was really fun for me to make. It's uh, it's got a lot of different things going on. I think it looks probably harder than it is, maybe. It I love it though. It's, it's so just cute. straight little seams though, but it's a square yeah. in a square. Square in a square in a square. In all in, variety. In many in all different the varieties. Yeah. That's right. That's right. It's all super right. fun. So I called it scattered squares because it looks like they're just kind of wherever you want to put they them. They are. Tossed all over. And it makes a quilt that it's 59 by 59. You use your entire layer cake for this. And um, if you wanted to make it bigger, and I one more layer colorway, cake. This yeah, fabric colorway. So yes, pretty. this is beautiful. So I used Feed Sacks Good Works by Lindsay Cole McRae for Moda, Moda Fabrics. Yeah. Yeah, and it's just, it's so pretty. It's gorgeous. There's a little bit of um, this inner border yardage that's white. The other white that you see in here, this is actually from the layer cake. So this isn't part okay. of that fabric, just so you know. Oh, okay. That it looks, it reads very white, but it's it's layer cake fabric and you like just tone need tone. an inner border. Mm -hmm. Like a Because I wanted to, yeah, I wanted to separate that out from the outer border because okay. it can be pretty busy. <laughs> Your outer border, you'll need a yard, and your backing, you'll need three and three quarter yards. And this is just, it's so pretty. It's, it's one of beautiful. these like really oh, busy I prints, but it just looks so fun and happy. It's and cheerful. it's like summer picnic. Mm -hmm. It really is. You know, brings to, I brings love to mind it. all I the fun things this. we can do this summer. I so love if you blue and white. Make and the us one of, of these, Natalie. It's okay. Very yeah. cute. All right. We would okay. like that. I could yeah. do that. It's mm -hmm. totally doable. All right. Um, the machine quilting pattern that I used on it is called Abstract Skyline, and it's one of those ones that's just very modern and mm -hmm. geometric. Squares and, all yeah. over. I love it. It's I love super that cute. All right. So this quilt is fun to make, and I'm ready to show you. There's three different blocks in it. Um, and the pattern is going to include like all the v different ways to cut. So you're going to gather, you know, so many squares and cut them into four and a half and so many of these other squares. But I'm just going to go through it one square at a time so you know what you need per square. Okay. And then, uh, you know, if you wanted to do your whole layer cake and read the pattern, that's totally fine. It's just easy peasy, but you can cut as you go if you want to. That's awesome. All right. So this is our square A and it is a traditional square in a square. Um, you're starting with a two and a half inch square in the middle and then you just build out using one and a half inch strips. Just like Misty did. That's yeah. right. So we'll just cut a few pieces. I have, um, let's get with, you know, some that are kind of contrasty. I liked to see the differences in the fabrics show up as I did these. Mm -hmm. And I love the, all the different colors. They're so pretty. Well, the addition of this, uh, color uh -huh. you know i'm not sure it's what kind you of call like, it. A, like a citron like, like yeah that's something. what i was yeah. gonna yeah. say like a, a citron it's yeah. just gorgeous with this navy yeah, and white really and beautiful. the teal and the gray it's a really really we pretty do love line. our designers for sure mm -hmm. yes they're they're brilliant they make our lives so much fun that is the truth okay so, so before we get get started cutting i'm just going to move these fabrics okay hand them off to me thank here we go. you <laughs> if you need them they're right here perfect i'm just going to cut one 10 inch um, or two and a half inch strip off of this and i'm going to keep all my fabrics ready so that i can cut as i go so we start with this one in the middle and this is your middle square this is my middle square two and a half inch yep square. these are built middle out just like perfect misties okay we'll do a couple of one and a half inch strips and these get oops, that's easier to read it the other way they're so cute and these get sub cut because you need two two and a halves and then your next ones are shall we pass these to four misty and a to sub half, half. Yes, go ahead and sew All those right. two sides. You got it. And I believe these are four and a half, the next two. All 
All right, so you can finger press those back if you like. Here's okay. one for that one side, four and a half. And I'll cut you one more four and a half here. And we'll set that aside. And I did cut, um, I cut quite a, quite a bit of it ahead and just sort of separated them into piles. Because they're yeah, all one and a because half. Because it, it, it's a lot of one and a half inch strips. Okay. All right, so we Beautiful. need a few more one and a half inch strips. I'm gonna just stack these for a, a little bit of time saving and cut a few one and a half inch strips off of it. And then we will subcut them into the sizes we need. I'll separate them. Thank you. <laughs> and we're just gonna kind of cut as we go. Although the pattern gives great directions on getting everything done ahead of time. So whichever way you prefer. Do you know this That's reminds right. this fabric right here reminds me of sheets, you know, and my, it's my just very very thing. vintage. Yeah. Uh, very vintage. Yeah. Vintagely and beautifully beautiful. <laughs> I had uh, teal sheets. The background was teal like that, but they were florals. It's so pretty. And it reminds me a lot of them. Yeah. All right. So we are going to do two four and a halves for your first two. There's this one. This is the block we're working on. And here's the next one. All right. And then I'll get you a couple six and a halves. You could probably stack those. You could, yeah. Good idea. And then we'll do our next row, which is six and a half and eight and a half. Sorry guys, this is catching on something and it's very difficult to sew. That is all okay. right. Amen, sister. I had the same problem. All right. Just finger press these. Mm -hmm. right. Unless you want me to iron. I mean, I am here. We'll you know. give you it in a minute. <laughs> I'll, I'll give it to you in just a sec. Ready when you are. All right. <laughs> oh, I already got my six and a half. I need to do eight and a half. So yeah, if you if you accidentally cut six and a half when you needed eight and a half, you can sew those strips back together and cut them the length you need. You sure can. <laughs> totally fine. It's gonna blend right in, and you'll never know. You will never know. That's for sure. <laughs> we all make a cutting error once or twice in our lives, don't we? Just yeah. once or twice. I can't be the only one. <laughs> you are <laughs> You're not. not. Here, let me iron yeah, that give real that quick. Give that a press. That would be and great. And then it's easier. Yeah. To lay if down. you're if you're strip piecing, there you, you can go. Press a bunch at once, or Thank finger you. press as you go. It's whatever feels comfortable. We'll do our last And so how many of these and blocks that's it. are in the quilt? Ooh, you're asking the tough questions today. <laughs> <laughs> so you make 12 of each block. Oh, okay. There's an A block, a B block, and a C block, and they all just go together. Yeah. And it's fun. All right, I'm almost done here. You're good. Let's finish this up. No pressure, Mr. You're no totally pressure. fine. No worries at all. I can only go as fast as the machine. Right? You're doing a great <laughs> job. And the fabric cooperates, you know? Right. Mm -hmm. All right. There we go. All right. So press that one, and okay. then we'll get started on our next block. Next. Well, I'll sh we'll show this. Show this we'll one. do a little block so this, presentation. This, this so they all end up eight and a half. Eight Every and a half. all the blocks are eight and a half, so they fit together beautifully. Here's cute. another one. Aren't they yeah, so cute? They're so fun. <laughs> all right. And you're just they, you know, no make two are the those. same. You make twelve of those, and then you'll make twelve of this one. This is the next block. It's a little four patch. Cute. Okay. So you'll always have two four and a half inch squares, and we could you could pick new fabric if you like. You want to pick? Okay. Do you have some over here already cut that we could use? I probably do. Let's see. I don't know. I, don't I, know. Have, I have lots of cuts, you know. Let's go with a couple of these. We just need one. We can use this. Well, it doesn't matter. It's not. Let's oh, use this one. Oh, there's so many to choose from. There's so many. <laughs> yes. So We're like, wait, no. So, so what many. about this? What about this? 
All right. So these I'm two, just going to line these up. And these we'll two make can be the coordinates um, for our four and a half. There you go. Move that so I don't accidentally hit it. That would be so a you have two in. four and a half inch squares. That's right. And we're just going to set these aside. That's right. That's the easiest part of this whole right? this whole thing. <laughs> okay. So those are done. Here's a little. And then we'll do a. Well, we don't want the same for our. Let's use a different one. Is this that different? one's perfect. Yes. Beautiful. All right. So we'll. I do can't keep track. Of two two and a half inch middles. Here's oh, so it's like Here's the first little more. round of this guy. That's right. That's all we're making. So we're okay. making just one little one round. One right. round of two and a, or one and a half. Okay. Whew. So we have two of these. We need some more one and a half to do our. Here's these. Okay. That works. Oh, and we have some navies. Oh no, this is a gray. I'm going to use this piece because it is small enough to get my two two and a halves. Yeah. So I tried to be pretty conservative about which pieces went where. But again, all of that is figured out for you in the pattern. <laughs> all right, so there's our, our first round of that one. And then this one, did you want to do this blue or this gray? Uh, whatever you want. OK. I might need this um, piece of fabric, a whole piece. OK. Let's use this one instead. This is one of those um, when I do this creative kind of, chaos yeah, right? projects because everything kind of just goes everywhere. When I do this kind of thing, my whole desk is covered with pieces, and then they're like, "How much did you use?" And I'm like, uh, "As many as I bit. could. <laughs> as many as I could." Yeah, it's pretty fun though. It's very, you know. Well, it's not hard sewing, right. and no. so it's just fun sewing, say. and then you do the not same thing at all. over and over. Simple piecing. So, oh. there's that one. Okay. Two and a half. Two and a half. Four and a, a half. four and a half off of this strip. And a four and a half. And a four and a half off of this one. And then the next block is pretty easy too. Awesome. Yeah, this math becomes probably automatic in your brain. Yep. I'm gonna stack a few of these because I oh, know yes, what's coming. Oh yes, you know what's coming, mm -hmm. right? One, two, three. Yay. Almost there. Four, five. They're pretty fun. Pretty oh, fun to make. Eight. All right, so press this one. This might you be can sew this together. This okay. might be too thick. So we're going to assemble our, <laughs> our uh, four, patch four patch now. Yep. And it doesn't really matter if you do side to side or top to bottom. I did the best I could and yeah. then I just paired them all up. You know. Makes sense. If you if you worried about it, go for it. Make them all the same. Oh, you might need to save if a few not, out for your no big deal. Well, I'll cut a a square, a solid okay. square. All right. So now we can open these up. Yep. And, and stitch put them, them together. together. And it doesn't really matter which way you sew those because you can just flip them. Yep, it's a four. They're they're good. You just want to match that center seam. Yep. Misty, make sure that's perfect. Oh, got she's it. got it. I'm on it. She's got it. I'm this. on it. There we go. All right, give that a quick press. I will. Perfect. And then so this is block cute. two. I have one. Block B. Oh, block B. B or two, you can call them one, two, three, A, There's B, C. There's this one. Yep. Fun. And that one. They're so cute. So you're gonna make 12 of these. Second and then. verse. And our C block is this guy. 
which can go each, whichever way you want. Right. And I twisted and turned them all over. And honestly, with all of this these, this is just... all two and a half inch strips. So we have some of these already cut because they were left over from other pieces. We'll go ahead and cut a bunch. Misty prop can probably start sewing you those together. You can just lay them out. I laid mine out because I wanted to make sure that I had things. Do you make this first? I make that first. Okay. Yes. So then these are just for around it. So we need to choose one for the middle and we'll choose a square for our outside. Let's do. Here's the middle if you need it. Okay, cool. Let's do this one. I like this guy. So this is all two and a half inch um, sections, two and a half strips and two and a half inch squares. Now I see on yours right here, you have the matching guy over here. Is that- uh, That a, is not on that, purpose. So that's just random. They're not all like okay. that. So some, some, if they matched, if I ended up where the pieces that I had were the same as the fabric, I just tried to put them opposite so that they didn't touch. Although I do have a few where it's kind of like the similar shades and they kind of go into each other. That is okay. So you need two, two and a half. Yep. So you start with two, oh, this one. All right. You've been putting together the outsides. I just figured I could start. Very nice. Yeah. So this is going to be um, one, two, three together. That okay. makes this For center. Yep. And then your side sections are um, six and a half. right here and they go it's very also very courthouse step style and courthouse steps for those of you who don't know is a block where you have a middle and you step out and, and then, then you, you step up and, step and you step way. out and up and you just yep. keep going the same way same on every way. single piece and it's really a fun block because if you play with color on it you know like if you put lights on the sides oh, and darks on the top a, they end up it's looking it's a log cabin um it's, it's in the log cabin of family the, yeah the log cabin yeah and they're just they're really fun okay. and and it just there's so many things you can do with it because of the yeah. way it's laid out yep All right, I'll press this. You can have those. Okay, so these those are going happen to go next. on the. Oops. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Around our block. All right. So we can we can put that together and see how you like it. Don't um, and then just stitch this one first. Okay. And that one doesn't really line up with anything. You know, you're you don't have any seams really to watch. Let me iron that. Sure, perfect. Mm -hmm. It's easier because I'm right here. Okay. Just waiting for something to do. <laughs> all right, all right, perfect. All right. And then this one goes on here. And I would say this is the most important point to watch, your corner, mm -hmm. but this gives you two, it's a couple other seams that you can watch can to keep up. everything in line. I like so. having those little spots. I like them too, little checkpoints along yep. the way. They just kind of keep everything square and matching. Yep. Lined up where you want them. Yeah. Works well. Oops. I might have to make one of these. It's, it's so really, really fun. It's really cute. I think it would be great. It's great in a line, but it would be so great in um, solids yeah. and scraps. I mean, honestly, there's just a ton of different options for it. You could yeah. pick. Do you know what? This is one of those quilts that would be great to take to a retreat because yes. you're just like. I got a layer cake, I can get yeah. all my cuts out of it, you know, yeah. all that thing. Yeah. And you wouldn't have to think about it or anything. You totally. I think I'm going to put that in my <laughs> brain. Yes, absolutely. Oh, so, so here's fun. your block C. And here's the other. And you can you can see them on the quilt. If you guys will help me, do you yeah. want to okay. do sure. this absolutely. one and you do this one? Okay. Okay. So I start with, a, with an A block. Right here. And a B block. And then that's me. Uh-huh. A. And a C. And then I just repeat the pattern. So really okay. it is actually a pattern. It doesn't look like it is because 
you can have fun with turning some of them. Right. So, so then you, you have A, with, B, C, A, B, C, and then you do B, C, B, C, C A, B, C, B, C, A, A okay. and you can tell that they actually go in a sort of a diagonal yes. pattern. Oh, yeah. So you have all of your A blocks it here, until you pointed it yeah, out. I didn't your either. B blocks, and then your C's. The C is really the, the most fun. So the, the B block you can turn, but it's a four patch. You can only do it two different ways. Right. But this one you can turn several different ways so it doesn't necessarily it line up. It makes it look even more scrappy. And you have you can have a good time with like making sure things that is don't so match fun. up. So it gives it a ton of movement, but it's actually it actually does have like a pattern sort of that it. you can remember. I love it. And um and then it's a little bit less scary for, for people who don't like to step away and be truly free improv. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's just fun. It's I, really I like great. it and I hope you guys like it. It's uh, again like fifty seven square, is that right? Yes, I think so. Here we go. Fifty nine 59 by fifty nine inches square. So Which cute. I think is great for lap quilt. It's a great large, like baby crib quilt mm -hmm. or toddler bed mm -hmm. size. It's just king great. size. It's, you could you do keep four. I, I would do four layer cakes for a king, oh, and right. that would cute. be would amazing. Be? Oh, It'd be wouldn't so that be so pretty. All right. Well, I guess it's so, my yeah. turn. All, All right, right. Let's see what you got. Okay. All right, everybody. So mine is called Surprise it's Square so in a Square, and you'll see it. the surprise as we go along. But let's take a look at it. Oh, so, so cute. Isn't it fun? I this line. It's so we've pretty. all had such great lines, and this is a beautiful line, and I do think we again we all blend we very well with it. It's we coordinate. So pretty. And I threw my uh, squares on point. And I, I love can't that. wait to show you how I did this. So to make my quilt, you're gonna need one packet of 10 inch squares, and we've used this adorable line called Blossom Lane by Catherine Linnaeus for Riley Blake Designs. It and is so cute. It is adorable. It's, adorable. it's really, so really cute. There's so much fun little detail in there it. There are. The, every little fabric, you look at it and you're just like, mm -hmm. oh, a little it's surprise. It's just very cute. <laughs> yeah. So sweet. So you need one package of those 10 inch squares. You're gonna need a coordinating print, a quarter of a yard, and that was my outer border inner, right there. Inner border. My inner border, thank you. My outer border is one and a quarter yards, and we use this floral, which is gorgeous. It's beautiful. Beautiful. The backing, you guys, I love the backing. Let me show you the backing. You need four and a quarter yards. But take a look at this. It's oh, all envelopes. envelopes. Oh, they're oh, and the so stamps. pretty. The stamps, the envelopes, all the little lines on them. I mean, they're just. And it's a, such a beautiful colorway. It's really pretty. It's really pretty. And, you know, I love print on fabric anyway. Yes. I love how it works and it's, it's just gorgeous. And so for that backing, you're gonna need four and a quarter yards. And it makes a quilt that is 67 by 67. And I, like you, went with the mm -hmm. square kind of quilting. So I did meandering square, which is just a little bit different than uh, it's a the one great, you did. It's a great pattern. It is, it's one of my favorites actually for my bed because yeah. it's not busy. It doesn't yeah. feel busy to me. Yeah. All right, so let me show you how to make this. So the first thing I did when I made mine was I chose one square for my middle squares, my center squares. They're all the same. So if you take a look at the quilt back here, oh, cool. yeah, okay. every single one is doors. You yeah. know, those are And you have all 16 the same. blocks and you get right. 16 two and a half inch squares from one right. 10 inch square. Perfect. You'll also notice the next row, they're only two colors. They're also all the same. So I chose something that would really pop oh. and I chose this, you know, this, um, teal line and this orange line corally like this pretty, yeah pretty colors yeah I just went through and and did these so did you have multiples of those or do you get just I exactly the right amount I think there's multiples of those That's but I great. cut them into one and a half inch strips and I sewed all of my strips together so it was mm. one long strip mm. so that I could get lots out of it okay so then possible. some of your squares maybe have a seam in them um yes okay uh, not like where it would no, it's not going to show. Nobody's going to see it. But um, and of course, I won't be able to find one now. Because right, right. I'm looking at all on the, the spot, all it's the hard. quilting. Yeah, exactly. But I literally took all of my okay. I took all of my my pieces and I sewed them together in um, you a know, long strip. yeah, one long strip. Okay. And so it's it's a very long strip. And so then I can take my middle pieces and I can just chain piece them. All right. So I took my long strip like this and I just laid. You know, I did several. So 16, I did eight squares out of the blue, mm -hmm. and so I would just chain piece them down the side, a do whole we bunch do of that? these. Shall I sew? Ah, uh, you can. We've done this middle, you know, now Quite we've done it times. three times. Yeah. So That's okay. I'm pretty sure people are um, 
you know. Well, I need something to do. There you go. <laughs> there you go. We'll just do one and I'll just cut it as I go so I can just keep going. Cause we're surrounding this whole thing, yeah? We are. Okay. We're surrounding the whole thing with the blue and it should end up a four and a half inch square. And you can always take your, um, you know, your little square and make sure. I'm always surprised at how, no matter how careful I am, mine never ends up they're, they're, they just have a mind of their own. Perfect, sometimes. you yeah. know, and I'm just like, ah, oh, well, I'm sewing with Misty and Natalie. Oh, okay. <laughs> no quilt police. No. <laughs> and so, uh, yeah, so this is good. Oh, wait, this one has a little curve. That's the other thing that happens to me a lot is as I get to the end, it'll it curve veers. one way or the other. And mine I do does, the same mine thing. Does that too. I'm like anxious to get done or something, yeah. and so I end up with this little wing out here. Yep. And then I just trim it off and it's, and it's fine. fine. It's yep. fine. All right, so. I know you don't need me to do this. <laughs> you go ahead. What's so next? see, just with that piece, you're able to do all four. And so. Yeah. Oh good, it's stitching, it sounded, I thought for a minute it came unthreaded. So again, I used two of each color. So if you don't have two in your layer cake, you know, you just pick two like dominant colors that are gonna frame up that center square. Either either that way or do it the opposite. Put your dark color in the center and then put a light. You just mm, want some contrast yeah, on that. Contrast. Yep. All right, so, so then with the next layer cakes, I cut them in two inch strips. Okay. And I sewed them together as well. So you can see this one is all sewed together there. See, here's, my, to end, end. here's my seams. Cool. And I just sewed them together end to end. And then you're gonna Put these all the way around, and I did not even didn't, look. Well, because they're to see square, if they it were, doesn't matter. Yeah, I didn't even look to see if I you're going to step mine on out. Because <laughs> I'm just busy. Well, it doesn't really matter. I'm just busy sewing them together, and so you know. It's just funny. Yeah. So you need four of these. You need one for the middle. Um, these ones, I think you need eleven. Now, um, did you press and square? I did. Or like trim the sides or? I just, I just pressed it and then uh, sewed down the other sides. Okay. And because, you know, I had this long strip to work with. Yeah. You know, you're able to do, a, you know, a small one Several. and then you can do a big one. Yeah. Okay. And so let me just trim off this edge. Thank you. Right here. So again, we have one for the middle, uh, four for the first layer, then 11 of these you're going to cut into two inch strips okay. and then for each round. And then you're gonna take out 16 that you do nothing to. So you'll have a stack over here of 16 of these that you're gonna do nothing to. Leave alone. Yeah, just Yet, leave them alone. Right? <laughs> just leave them be. Okay. And I'm gonna grab a couple more things over here that I know I'm gonna need. All right. I'm not gonna worry about these. And then we're just going to sew these other rows on. And we will be at, I'm not sure what size this is. Good golly, Miss Molly. Got to be close to the 10, 10 though, right? right? Well, the two last ones are 10. So then these would be 8. eight. OK. All right, so iron this. OK. Where's my, oh, there it is. All right, so now that this is ironed, we're going to go ahead and add the last four on. Now, did you, um, and let's did you go, do these Let's end go ahead and sew well? these together. Okay, I wasn't for sure. Yeah, no, I sewed them all together. So all right. here's these two. And it's good, you know, I just got, I think you get five cuts out of a, of a 10 inch square. So five two inch cuts with no extras. And then we'll, I licked my finger for you, Natalie. So. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> People always, don't lick your finger. Ooh. Do you? That's true. And you can see, like right here, there's a seam. Yeah. Nobody, nobody's gonna notice nope, that. No big deal. All. It all blends in. All right. So then what we're going to do now that we have this all sewn together is we're just going to add 
one side more. to side and she's going to cut them as she goes so she'll sew down this side and then we'll trim it off Oops, stay lined up and then you'll flip it and do the other side And this just conserves fabric. The sewing the strips together conserves fabric because you're really just cutting off these little pieces. But you know, you might need those. You never know. You never know. It's gonna be a great crumb year. It might be a great <laughs> crumb year. It's true. All right. All right, then Misty's I'm gonna, gonna press and press trim that. And get ready for the next two. Right. There we go. This fabric really is so pretty. It's really fun. It's and just... when you're stitching these on, like if your top piece is out a little bit, just remember to match it up to this sideline, you know, as you're putting it on. to go mm -hmm. almost there see that uses just about all of those yeah, four just about mm -hmm. right now don't cut that off you don't even need to okay go ahead and iron that out okay Perfect. Because now, because I know I'm not a perfect sewer, I'm going to square this to 10. Right. And uh, so that they are exactly 10 inches. Awesome. And so awesome. I can cut off that extra then. And so it's, it's a little so bit. You just kind of center it up. I do. So just see like this little there, square yeah. right here in the middle? It just squares up right there around my two and a half. And so okay. I'm just going to take this and I'm just going to trim. Oh, move that pin. Mm -hmm. You don't want to run over a pin with your rotary that blade. Danger. Quick way to make a little... Danger, danger. Uh, to need a new blade. <laughs> Quick way to need a new blade for sure. So I'm going to just flip this around, then I'm going to cut the other side. And on some of mine, you know, if you do a big quarter of an inch, you know, you'll have less to cut off. It just depends on your seam allowance. All it's right. It's nice to have room though. Yeah. Yep. So now comes the surprise. And what we're going to do now is we're going to take this piece right here and we are going to draw a line from here to the corner to corner on both sides. Sometimes it's easier for me, and I think it depends on the kind of pen I'm using. If I start from the middle. Mm -hmm. It is, yeah. And then it won't drag that point. Yeah, we can do that. No, it, it just it's Misty. just a thing for me, like personally. <laughs> Sometimes yeah. my, my pen or pencil will kind of catch the fabric. So can you find the lid? It's underneath oh, your sewing machine. I will look for it. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my rotary cutter and I'm just going to make a little cut here on one of these lines. Okay. And then Ooh. I'm going to put it on here like this. And Natalie, I'm going to have you sew all the way around this. Okay. Ooh, how fun. That's exciting. This is the surprise part. I okay, love it. Okay, okay. I'm going to need these scissors. All righty. I'm just realizing that we can, could combine mine with yours too, because mine ends up 10. Oh, yeah. So we could do the same thing. A new nice. pattern. <laughs> <laughs> the ideas are overflowing. They're, they always come. Yeah, it's so, it is interesting how we'll do these triple plays and yeah. we'll be like, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? And then everybody comes together and shows their stuff and we're just like, oh! Yes, it's so fun. I love that. I do too. Yeah, we've actually already picked our next uh, patterns for next year. Yes. We have 12 blocks already picked out. Ready to go. Triple play challenge is on. It is. All right. Almost. All righty. There you go. So now what we're going to do, since we have these handy lines on here, we're going to take our scissors and we're going to cut on the line all the way out to the point, just like that. And then we'll cut this way. That is so cool. 
so fun. So you just you cut right into the middle of that seam. Do you right cut into the middle of the point. stitches, or no, does it, does no, it no. really right get there? Them. Just right to it. Okay. And I just kind of fit mine into the point, and regardless of where my line goes, I go to the point. Okay. And hopefully it's pretty close. Yeah. It, it should be. With any luck, right? All right, now Misty. Right. If the you magic. will and it's set on iron point. this and I just will. like that it's set that on is point. So cool. That is so fun. Isn't that fun? Yes, I love it. You could set so many blocks on point. Oh my like gosh, this. yeah. Yes. You do lose your point on the sides. The, the outer Don't round. Care. Yeah. It's, but so the, cool. we had so much fun getting there, I didn't right? even worry about it. Look at yeah. that. That All right. is great. So that's your surprise square in a square. So I have several blocks over oh, here. They're so cute. And basically, you know, you see this little piece that sticks out right here. You can mm -hmm. just trim that off, but you're just going to sew them together. So I just put mine right together. And I have four here by four there, you know, 16 blocks uses the whole layer cake. Perfect. And so it just great. makes it fun. And you can choose which ones of these you want to save to the outside. Now that you know, you know, these are going to be yes. pretty, you know, big. Yeah. pretty big pieces. Yeah, it makes a pretty good size block. Let's see. Looks like it's uh, it's about 13 and a half. You know, the point is you want all That's your so blocks great. to be the same. Mm -hmm. Yes. And if you're doing the one sewing, they should be the same. So regardless of that measurement, you know, I rarely yeah. even measure them. I just put mine together exactly. because I know it's going to work. Anyway, it was really fun to do and I hope you guys enjoy it. It's so, so cute. So fun. I love it. So we hope you enjoyed this triple play on the square and a square. I feel like we it's gave them lots so of new fun. ideas. So fun. Yeah, lots of things to do and fun ways to do them. Some more things to add to your bucket list quilt. <laughs> oh, <laughs> right. for sure. Yes. Anyway, we hope you enjoyed this triple play on the square and square block from the Missouri Star Quilt Company. Hi, everybody. It's Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you aren't already part of the Missouri Star Quilt Company family, be sure to subscribe so you won't miss a thing. And if you click that bell, it'll notify you every time a new tutorial comes out. See you next Friday.